what I do because it's both my, my business and it's also my passion. I've always been interested in the environment, and I think mainly because of where I grew up and my family. We treasured you know, taking trips all over to all the national parks. I was a rock collector and um, I would always ask my dad to pull over and so I could get a rock from that place. When we left for the trips, my suitcase was light and empty and when we came back it was really full and could hardly be carried in the trunk. Environmentalism in architecture is really about being specific about a place. The way that our process is it's very analytical in the beginning. It might be about you know, the specifics of the climate the amount of sunny days a year. And then after we kind of dig into those different areas, usually something comes up that really seems to resonate with the project at hand. For example, with the Ford Calumet Environmental Center, there was a strong cultural history of steel production in the area. On the habitat side, it was a place where a very important stopping point for migratory birds. In doing this research, we found that there were high mortality of birds that were crashing into windows. And so we discovered this through um, a, an ornithologist research, and then we were able to look at what solutions he had and apply that to our design um, to prevent you know, our building from killing these birds that people were coming to see. Aqua, you know, is, is 82 stories tall and it's, it's our largest building to date. What I didn't realize maybe when, it, when we first started doing a tall building was that it's so important to the identity of the city. People really care about the skyline. I think it's the same for the community buildings. They're, they're really important to people on the scale of the community for identity. So they both have an equal power. One of them we recently finished was the SOS Children's Village. SOS is it's a social service organization that they train foster parents. A lot of times architecture is only for you know, the 2% of the population that can afford to hire architects. The place where you grow up, the building that you live in, your home and your community are some of the most important things, impactful things on how you see the world. If you can you know, bring architecture, like architecture with capital A, good design into a neighborhood, you can really have a big impact. I really appreciate getting out into landscapes and a lot of my inspiration and my travel takes me to places that are wild. You know, I live in a city and I work in a city, but I really value these wild places and I thought NRDC was doing the most to preserve them, protect them. I'm in the Midwest, we have a huge resource, the Great Lakes. It's endangered. I thought it was great that NRDC was coming to the Midwest to protect that resource.